Hello everyone, welcome to Blink Sosen. This is Claire. I'm coming back. In today's video, I'm going to introduce how to ship your products from China to Amazon Warehouse. Normally, there are three ways to ship your goods from China to Amazon Warehouse. And for European customers, there are one more shipping way to choose. How about the cost and how long time need for shipping? And which things you need to pay attention when choose a different shipping way? I'm going to introduce one by one. Now let's dive inside. Number one, express shipping to Amazon FBA. This is the most fast and easy way to send your products from China to Amazon FBA. We know there are some famous shipping companies like UPS, DHL, FedEx. We use a lot of the shipping company for sending product samples. You can easily check the location of the package while the tracking number from the official website. The shipping fee is according to the destination country, the product's weight, and the time you want to ship out the goods. For example, the high peak season, the shipping fee will be relatively high than the other season. And when you ship more content, like for example, 200 kilos, and for sure will be cheaper when compared with you ship out 20 kilos. Here I give you one price for your reference. It normally is about eight to ten dollars per kilo. As the shipping fee is relatively high compared with other shipping way, you when you originally need your products, you may consider about this shipping way. So how do you use Express? I have customers they have their own DHL or FedEx account. They will say like Claire use my own account and for free to collect. It's okay for you to pay in your destination country. But I would like to save the cost for my customers. I will always suggest them to prepaid the shipping fee in China. Because prepaid the freight cost in China will be much cheaper. Like my customer can pay the shipping fee to me first, then I help them to pay the shipping company. So you can also ask your channel supplier to help you to pay the shipping fee and compare to you pay and the distillation and make the compare and make the decision. Here has two things you need to pay attention. One is about the dimension weight. I have also mentioned this about in my other video. How to check the dimension weight. Here I am talking again. Calculate the dimension weight length multiplied by width and height. The unit is in cm and divided by 5000. This is the dimension weight when you are selling product by express. One package has two weights. One is a real weight. The other is a dimension weight. Which one is bigger, the shipping company will charge this shipping fee according to the bigger one. For example, this carton, the real weight is 5 kilos and the size for this carton, the length and the width is 31 cm and the height is 14 cm. So its dimension weight is around 7.7 .7 kilos. The shipping company will charge you by 8 kilo instead of its railway of 5 kilo. The second thing is about the duty fee. Before talking about the import duty fee, I will share a real story here with you. I have a customer who buys artificial hair about two years down. He wants to ship out the goods from China to their country by FedEx. Before shipping out the goods, I have checked the shipping fee by FedEx and also by railway with DDP service. But he is all in the need of these products and he think that we will not have problem to send out the goods by FedEx. After sending out the goods about one week that arrived at the destination country, but the goods was stuck in clean customer and he need to pay the huge amount about the tax and the duty fee. Almost same amount about, about the product value. 
That's terrible, right? And the different countries have different rules. From China to USA, you don't need to pay any tax fee when the goods is less than $800. But for European countries, when goods value is over 10 US dollars, they will need to pay the tax fee and the duty fee. So in most situations, I will suggest my customer to use DDP service for the L shipping or C shipping or even the railway. Number two, safe freight to Amazon FBA. When talking about safe shipping, first I want to say, when your goods is over 15 kilos, you can use the safe shipping way. Because there are so many agents or suppliers when talk about safe shipping, they will only suggest people to use safe shipping with large value, like five CPM or more quantity. This is not correct. When your goods is over 15 kilos, and we know the shipping time is normally take about 25 to 14 days, sometimes need longer according to the destination country. If the time is acceptable for you and your product is over 15 kilos, you can consider about safe shipping. For a small content, we can still use DTP service, like you pay paid the shipping fee in China, that the shipping company will do all the things for you. The shipping fee is about $2 per kilo plus the duty fee. The duty fee according to the products you want to ship. When you have a big cotton that you want to ship out by sea, like always 5 CBM or more cotton, then you can ask your factory to cut price with FOB and then you find a forward shipping agent to arrange to ship out your goods. And the shipping fee will be charged by volume, not by weight. We will talk about this in my further videos. Number 3. Air Freight to Amazon FBA If you ship your goods by air, the shipping time from China to Amazon will take a few days longer than you ship out the goods by express. But the total shipping cost will be cheaper than express. Normally, it's about six to eight dollars per kilo. This is just for reference. The price will always change according to the destination country and the time you want to ship out the goods. When your product is over thirty-five kilo, we can consider about air shipping. And remember that we will always use DDP service. Just like the sea shipping, when your product is over 500 kilos and you want to ship out the goods by air, and you can hire a professional for water shipping agent to help you to handle all those things. One tip here, for air shipping and sea shipping, when you ship like small quantities, the for water will charge the price according to the weight. Now, we all know that one package has two weights, one is the real weight, another is the dimension weight. But for calculate the dimension weight for the air shipping and the sea shipping, which is different from the express. In air freight, the dimensional weight is calculated by length, multiply, width, and height, and divided by 6,000. Remember that express is divided by 5,000. Now you can see that the dimension weight of air freight is less than express. So when you ship the products with the big size, with the light weight, then you may concern about the air shipping. Number four, ship your products from China to Amazon Warehouse by China Railway Express. First, I want to say not all countries can use this shipping way. For Amazon customers, now only European countries can use this shipping way. This is another option for you to choose. When your goods is over 15 kilos, you may consider about this way. It's similar to sea shipping. Uh, the difference is that uh, the goods shipped out by railway will cost less time than the goods shipped out by sea, at least 5 days or 10 days, something like this. 
and uh, of course it costs a little bit more this can be ignored than the CCP and sometimes the products like liquids which cannot seep out by sea you may consider about seep out the goods by the railway like this year because of the virus problems many vessels stuck and the destination port and they need a long time to take out the container so when this time you choose the railway shipping it will be another good option for you for Amazon signals especially for new Amazon signals when you know about four different shipping ways that will help you to choose the correct way and save your shipping cost at the end of the video I would like to say if you have any question about the shipping way that I introduced in today's video you can leave your comments below I will always reply you quickly and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel I will always share my experience about how to buy from China and if you need to find an agent to help you buy from China and ship to your Amazon warehouse don't forget to contact me, friend. See you next time. Bye-bye.